I'm in Weldon Spring. I'm in Yevley. I'm in the abandoned city of Pripyat. I'm here in front of Wembley Stadium. It's the home to the England football team and well if you're not from the UK you might not know that but if you are from the UK I'm guessing you probably do already. We all know that I mean if it's the the home of the England football team some of the best of the best players have ever played in the stadium and well this is not a video that's about sports uh, I'm not a channel that talks about sports this is in fact a video about software engineering. If you, if you clicked on the title of this video, then you probably know that it's a video basically of me explaining how software engineering and being an athlete is actually kind of similar. So the similarities between a software engineer and an athlete is that they might both actually have peaks in their career. Well, like we all know that athletes have a peak in their career, at which point, you know, they start to decline, they're not as good enough as the younger people and so on. And this actually does happen in software engineering as well. In fact, like 90% of all software engineers are younger than the age of 45, which is pretty a crazy statistic in my opinion. Another really surprising statistic that I found out is that many recruiters actually don't hire new talent that is older than 35 years old. And there was some data that I was having a look at online and it was talking about how the basically the the max earnings you will ever have as a career as a software engineer will probably be in your sort of mid 30s if you do start working in your early 20s like around 22 23 and well honestly the biggest reason why your career sort of peaks in sort of like the mid 30s range is because well technology's moved on so much since when you started is that all the youngsters are going to know the the modern tech that you know everyone's expecting you to know Whereas if you've been working for like say 10 years or even like 15 years, you're sort of going to be still used to that old way of doing things. And then yeah, by the time like you reach 40 years old, uh, all the youngsters in the software engineering game will know the most relevant skills. And then, you know, you're sort of like they're twiddling your thumbs because no one really wants someone who knows the old way of doing things. People want to know the new way of doing things. And if you take companies like you know, Meta, Google and Netflix and so on, they probably want the youngsters because they're the only way that these companies are going to be pioneering into the future. Yeah, I suppose um, people could argue that older people can try and le relearn and learn new skills and so on. But the, the challenging thing is the older you get, like the more challenging it becomes to really learn and understand new concepts and new skills, and new technologies. And youngsters are going to obviously be much quicker at this so they're gonna you know, have the jump on these older people and also these youngsters are gonna have you know no knowledge of how it used to be done so their brains and th their thought processes of how you actually adopt these new technologies will be completely different so yeah bringing it back to football and athletes in general i guess a career as a software engineer is not like a super super long career um, it's very like different to like say being a doctor or a lawyer where I guess you know people expect the older people to be the best at their job where in the case of a software engineer you know you don't have that luxury of longevity in your career you probably have to end up turning into an engineering manager or like you know, adopting a more managerial role rather than a technical role as you get older and older. Yeah well like like I said you know um, I guess software engineers are very similar to uh, footballers like uh, this guy behind me. So yeah, I guess that's something to think about, consider, and hopefully you enjoy this video of me in the wild outside, which is very unusual. And uh, yeah, subscribe to my channel, like the video, and I'll see you in another one. Goodbye.